Okay, quickly, I would like to go through the syllabus and the grades tab. So I'm not going to actually click on the grades tab because, well, I guess I can. I'm in student mode. Um, the grades tab will show you your grade for the class. And what I would like to point out about this is that the grade that you see is your accurate grade and it is the grade that you will receive in the class, um, assuming that everything has been submitted. And so in this case, you can see that I have submitted the initial response activity. I received a check mark. Um, sometimes you'll see you'll get, get a score of 5 out of 5 or 18 out of 18 or 12 out of 18. Um, sometimes you might see a check mark or an X. A check mark means you got all of the points. It's pass or fail. You either did something or you didn't. And if you see an X, it means that you did not submit something and it was pass or fail. And so an X means you have 0 out of however many and a check would mean you have full marks. So, so keep that in mind. Um, in addition to the grading, um, Any time that I take points off, so this just applies to Jessica's sections here, um, I will never take points off without explaining why. And so if you ever have any questions about that, you can email me and I can show you where to find the information or I can provide you with more direct feedback. But in general, over on the right hand side where you see this little check mark, there's usually a little grid. And if you see the grid, it means it was scored on a scoring rubric, which had points for doing things or points that you are missing for not doing things. And then if you see a little thought bubble, it means that I left a comment. And so you should always come in and click on the grades tab and you should always find out why you got a 4 out of 5 or a 12 out of 18. Um, and if that's the case and you can't find it, don't hesitate to email me because it's not on purpose. Uh, maybe I hit submit and it didn't process or maybe you just can't find the right place to click. Um, I do not want you to just say, oh, well, I can't figure out why I got 5 out of 10, so I'll just deal with a 50%. Um, try to figure out why. Try to find that scoring rubric. If you can't, email me or attend online office hours. I'll be happy to go through it with you. Okay, the last tab that I want to talk about before we get into the nitty-gritty of the first week activities is your course syllabus tab. And your syllabus is your lifeline for this course and really any course that, that you want to take. It outlines everything that we're covering this semester. It also talks about things like how you were graded and how things are scored and what the expectations are. And so you need to read through this in its entirety. If I tell you that you're going to be graded 30% on knowledge and learning and 40% on skills tests and 30% on module exams, but then I grade you based 100% just on your module exams, you could argue that's not fair because I said only 30% of the grade is going to come from your exams. In addition, um, there's a grading scale, and the grading scale is listed here. And so if you're someone who wants to pass with a C, you could say, I just need to get a 70 or higher, and it will be a C in this class. Or if you're someone who says, I want to get all A's, you can see that you need a 93% or higher to get an A. Um, the percentages are tied to each, each teacher, and so your teacher may change his percentages. But for my classes, you do need a 93% or higher for an A in the Photoshop class. There's lots of other stuff that's covered, like late policies, using Canvas, what happens if the school is closed. Read through everything in the course syllabus. And if you have any questions, email me, and we can talk about it, or I can clarify what I mean. The last two things that I want to talk about about the course syllabus are, first, there's a little OER logo. That's because this class abides by OER, Open Educational Resources. And if you'd like to learn more about it, you can go ahead and you can click on it. Um, I will talk more about it in the next video, however. And then last but not least, there is a course summary, which is basically a schedule of things that are due for the class, and it shows you when that they are due. And so in addition to me telling you in the weekly announcements, you can also see via the course summary what's coming up and what's due from week to week in the class.